Okay, sixth grade. Okay, so the first activity I'm gonna have you attempt to try out at home is an ice melting contest. It's, it's a lab activity that I think we could all do in our kitchens. Now, remember, with everything we're trying, if you can't do it, that doesn't mean beg your mom to go to the store or freak out and think you're gonna get an F. We're just trying this together, and if you can't think of a way to make it work, talk to your mom, brainstorm, just come up with something you already have to make it work. Okay, so for this activity, I'm gonna share, I'm sorry, I keep messing this up. I'm gonna share the, PowerPoint and we're going to kind of go we're going to go through setting up the activity in our notebook like we normally do. Um, there's you know some of your vocab words are already bold conduction and conductors. So a conductor is something that allows energy to pass through freely. Remember that? So it's not just something that is metal. It's anything that allows energy to pass through it um, easily. If you remember, we talked about carpet versus tile, and carpet's an insulator where tile is a, more of a conductor or not an insulator, and that's why when we stand on tile, it feels cold because it allows that energy to pass from our feet to the floor really fast, where with carpet, we stand on carpet barefoot, and it doesn't allow that energy to leave our feet as quickly, so it doesn't feel cold, whereas they're still just the same temperature. Okay, so for this activity, ice melting contest, you are, I'm going to switch to this page, you're going to find, an, you're, here's the other tricky part, you have to have ice at your house, so, um, oh, I'm getting interrupted, I'm going to pause. Activity 59, part 2, sorry I got interrupted, but that's no big deal. So, I turn to this page because it has the rules, so we're on page D34, and it kind of shows what you're doing. So, the contest is, <coughs> excuse me, the contest is to see what can you do to make an ice cube melt, like the fastest, I think, of course, I can't remember, yes, melt as much of it as you can in the time allowed. So... The tricky part here is when we do this in the classroom, I make sure that the ice cubes are all the same size. I can't do that because we're all in different houses. So what I'm gonna have you do is measure the dimensions of the ice cube. So if your ice cube maker makes those weird ones and they're, they, let me actually draw it, sorry. So they look kind of like, like this. If you have those kind of weird ice cubes, you know what I'm talking about? You would measure the length. Oh, it's getting blurry because of my hand. Sorry. Oh, I can't do that. You would measure the length and then the height at the greatest point. And we would just, we would just have to be okay with the um, part that's not there. I don't even know how to explain this. We would have to just be okay that it's not that accurate. If you have a square, a cube, ice cube, perfect but you're going to measure basically the volume the, as accurately as you can. Measure the volume. I'm writing this right now so I don't forget to remind you. So this activity is dependent on you having an ice cube, a ruler, and a plastic bag. I am hoping, I know it says graduated cylinder, we're gonna ignore that because I'm gonna kinda tell you a different way to do it. I'm hoping that at a minimum, everybody has that. Again, if you don't, we'll figure it out. Be creative. If you can make, everyone probably has a freezer, so find a way to make your own ice cube. Do you have a contain, a very small container? You can put some water in and freeze it. If your parents have an ice cube tray, ob obviously fridges that have an ice maker, it's easy, but, just be creative with your resources. And in, um, I think everybody will get, I think actually I choose. So we'll say 60 seconds, 60 seconds, okay? You'll have 60 seconds to do whatever you can to this ice cube to get it to melt. The only thing you can't do is where is it 
You cannot put this ice in the bag in your mouth. First of all, ew. Second of all, choking hazard. And just be more creative than that. Um, use, use what we know about energy and energy moving to be able to um, have as much thermal energy because remember, thermal energy is moving energy that goes from hot to cold. The ice cube is cold, so thermal energy wants to go to the ice cube, and then that will cause it to melt. So just be creative with ways to do this. Don't put it in the microwave. So don't use certain things that I wouldn't let you use in the classroom. Like, don't put it in the toaster or whatever. Um, <laughs> don't do anything that's going to burn your house down or get you hurt, but just so a lot of, I would use friction and um, different things. I'm, I don't want to give you answers. So I want you to be creative and um, you are either going to have to explain to me in a, in a writing how you melted it, or you could turn on the camera on your Chromebook and you could record yourself melting this ice cube. Since it's only 60 seconds, that shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, I'm gonna write that down on my little note too so I can remind you, so you'll have it in writing and on my video. Um, video record yourself. Okay, sorry for the sniffing. Um, I just, I want the video just to make things clear so the rest of your instructions will be in the Canvas assignment. All right. Please email me if you have questions.